Employee Registry module allows the user to upload, edit, delete, and add employee data. Go to Employees Registry, choose the Add Employee icon, and complete all the necessary details in order to register an employee in SARA. When registering an employee, ensure that the user ID entered in SARA and the biometric device at the school match. So, it is recommended that before adding an employee to SARA, you register them for biometrics so you can get their biometric ID. For the log time and log time change, the number of working hours can be individually adjusted as long as the required number of working hours is accomplished. What is the difference between the log time and the log time change? Before going deeply with the employee log details, please be aware that the user must use the 24-hour format when dealing with the worker's time record. Log time. Regular workers receive 8 hours in total. So, based on the default log time, you will be 1 hour and 30 minutes late if you log in at 8.30 in the morning. Log time determines whether an employee has undertime or none, based on their attendance record. Log time change Log time change determines whether an attendance log is AM login, AM logout, PM login, or PM logout. Based on the default log time change, employees can log in for the morning at 12 midnight up to 9 a.m. and can log out at 9.01 a.m. up to 12.30 p.m. For the afternoon, employees can log in at 12.31 p.m. up to 2 p.m. and can log out at 2.01 p.m. up to 11.59 p.m. For example, if you log in the morning at 9.30 a.m., then the system will reject your attendance log as a.m. login, instead the system will treat your log as a.m. logout. In some cases, certain employees can have varied log times based on their position at work. In this scenario, Kaluma ES employee Emilio Lopez, a teaching personnel, will be reporting to work at the school at approximately 7 a.m. This is how his default log time will look. His morning login is 7 a.m. up to 9 a.m. From 12 a.m. to 7 in the morning, any log data is considered as on time. However, data logins between 7.01 a.m. and 9 a.m. are regarded as late. Now, let's discuss his afternoon log details. 
As stated, his morning log time change is 12.30 p.m., meaning any log data between 12.31 p.m. and 1 p.m. will be considered for the timeout. Log data from 1.01 p.m. up to 2 p.m. is late. Given that he completed the required 8 hours of work, his logout time will be at 4 p.m., but can still time out until 11.59 p.m. Additionally, you may edit and delete the employee's data in Sarah. If you have an existing database from a previous device, you can also upload it. To edit an employee, first click on the employee's name that you want to update, then select the Edit Employee button. Once the changes have been put out, click the Update button. Similar to editing data, select the employee whose name you want to delete before selecting the Delete Employee button. When you select data to delete, a message box confirming your action will pop up. Finally, is the employee uploading procedure. Upload an Excel file with the headers and data that are listed on the right side. To save your uploaded data to the SARA database, either select Save Database or use the F5 key on your computer. Everything on the Employee Register module has been tackled. If you haven't registered your employees on SARA yet, try registering your colleagues and make sure you follow the instructions. Any division ICT employee can answer your inquiries and provide more information if necessary. Mm -hmm.